Long time ago, I don't know how long, but I was told very long time ago, uh, there was a system where different types of hand movements were given different types of names. And the first one is called the lagu. The lagu is basically a straight line. If you see it anywhere in textbooks, you'll see a straight line, and that means a lagu. Uh, some of us have been told the story. It's been called a lagu because your hand looks like a straight line when you're creating it. If you look at the tip of my finger right here, it kind of looks like it's creating a straight line. So the lagu is basically a clap, and then your fingers start counting. The second thing that you should know is the drutam. The drutam is basically a clap and then a flip. And a lot of us were also told this story. The reason why this drutam has been often annotated in books as a circle is because the tip of my finger forms a circle when I do this motion. So you can look at this right here. If I do it in a very exaggerated way, it goes one, and then while you're flipping it over, it turns a circle. So if you see it written anywhere, you'll see a circle. It means two beats always. It's basically one and two. One and two. And this is called a drutam. And the last bit that we need to know today is the anudrutam. The anudrutam is basically just a clap. And this also, in a very exaggerated way, can form a half circle, which is half of the drutam. A half circle is the half of the full circle. So this is supposed to be the half. So we have the lagu, which is a beat and then counting. We have the drutam, which is a circle or two beats. And we have the anudrutam, which is one beat.